Welcome everybody to episode 37 of the effing title. And this week we have Fedge and we have Scratchy and we are presenting to you the NFL Week 6 review and the Week 7 preview. All in one podcast. Guys, how you doing? Phenomenal. How are you doing? I'm doing right. I have to that's that's just weird. Yeah. I'm doing great, dude. You know, I feel like I uh, getting better with my picks each week. At least I'm consistent, I guess. That's the way I put it. But well, you know what they say, Jeff: giving up is for rookies. <laughs> you just wait, Rob. Rob, you know what they say: the flower that blossoms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. And that's gonna be me. It's coming, dude. It's Where the coming. fuck did that just come from? <laughs> Fortune cookie. You heard that quote? No, I've never heard that quote. Oh. Well, all it takes is a little faith and trust, dude. All right, well, there we go. And I'm well, trusting it. Oh, speaking of faith and trust, let's take a look at last week's pick, picks, shall we? So, uh, Fedge was at the bottom with 6 and 8. <laughs> Scratch was 7 and 7. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, and I was 8 and 6. The pass can hurt, but the way I see it, you either run from it or learn from it, okay? And I'm going to learn, okay? We're moving forward. So you're running. You're running into the future, <laughs> well, you know is how he's saying. Jeff, you know what? Today is a good day to try. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> All right, so with that, we've come to our total picks. Uh, total picks. Um, I'm a 57 to 34. Scratchy's a 56 to 35. And Fedge is a 48 to 43. Wait, how, how, many, how many games am I <laughs> you're behind? You're behind Rob by eight points. Well, that's not bad. What are we, week seven? Yeah, I week seven. I can take it. Coming yep. up. Coming up, guys. It's coming. All right. Um, we don't have to talk about COVID this week. So far, surprisingly. So that's kind of cool. That's not true. We can talk a little COVID. COVID. I'll give you some stuff here. You got some people, more people turning this week, like uh, Corey Davis for the uh, Tennessee Titans. Should be good. Help them out against the Steelers. So. We'll help out. We'll help. Check out for you. That's it. That's it. That's the, that's the one. Well, that's the only one I really can think off of that man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. All right. Now I can move that off my screen too. All right. So to the matchups this week. Let's talk about last week as well. Um, what did you guys think of last week? Anything really to talk well, about? I was honestly surprised with eh, surprised Rob and I talked about it. Surprised and not surprised with the way the Patriots came out. Um, you know, other guys can still practice, even you know, bye week and whatnot. But it hurts when you have it to QB position with Cam Newton, and you could tell he was a little bit rusty coming mm-hmm. out. Also, um, you and me, that's, you that's and me, had talked about it as well. That like we had said, like going into the game, we didn't know if Drew Locke was going to be the guy or not. With Drew Locke going in as the guy, we were like, this is a completely different game, you know. And I think you and me both oh, said that that's yeah. that's the reason why we picked the Patriots because we didn't think Drew Locke was going to be the guy that weekend. Oh, I know. And then I, it was yeah. like two days. It was like the very next day that like Drew Locke's a starter this week, and it's like motherfucker, like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I would definitely have picked him. I just I knew it would have been a different game with Drew Lockett. Mm-hmm. He has a better control over that offense um, than obviously what Rippian and whoever the other one there is. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, I mean, the guys trust him more. He obviously is more athletic. I mean, he's just a better quarterback overall. So what are you going to do? But, um, I thought the Rams-Niners um, game was an interesting one, too. I thought that was a little bit. Rams-Niners, you said? Yeah. yeah I mean, there was, there was overall, I mean, we, we said it was going to be a – you know, crazy week. Um, just as far as like there were some down games, and there was. I mean, you got the you know Miami Dolphins blowing out the Jets, and obviously we all know the surprise coming out of that game with Tua being named starter coming out of the bye in two weeks. So I mean, it's just but, you know I I know one I was really surprised with was how much Dallas struggled against Arizona. Arizona doesn't have really a top notch defense, but Buda Baker, Buda Baker looked like a defensive MVP coming out there, dude. Stud, stud. Not stud. Much. I'll, I'll give a little shout out to your boy Calais. I mean, he did come up with three sacks last week, so didn't play well. But I mean, you were playing. Yeah, we were playing the Eagles, and like you said, you sent me that video, and <laughs> oof. yeah. That dude, the one dude, the one guard for the Eagles. I mean, I don't know if you know, but I think he's released now. Actually, I think he literally got released. I, that doesn't surprise me. After the game, he, he tried he... fixing his glove during a play. As his quarterback's getting chased around, he's fixing his glove. He had not. 
He sacked his quarterback. Oh, at the end of the game as well, he went and took a picture with Lamar Jackson, by the way. <laughs> did he really? Yep. <laughs> I did not know that. Yep, I saw a picture well, of it today. Probably. Um <laughs> Yeah, no, it was it was a, it was a very interesting. I mean, just just because that's what's done doesn't mean that's what should have been done. Yeah, you know I mean, what I mean? <laughs> well, like the thing is, like it showed that it showed the picture, and like of course he's doing like the peace sign and everything, and then you slide it, and the very next slide is him literally tackling or sacking Carson Wentz himself. <laughs> But oh, Rob, I mean, you gotta agree too. Some people are just worth melting for, dude. I mean, I think you used to take pictures with me all the time. You know, you're like, this guy's a stud. Yeah, look at Sometimes this guy. You gotta take advantage of it, right? Hey, only person with a playoff touchdown. Yeah, no, that's, that's that is something. I mean, huh? I'm just throwing it out, man. You know, I mean, <laughs> guys, I'll let you in on a little secret. Okay. The only Let's way to get what you want in this world mm -hmm. is through hard work, okay? And that's why I got that touchdown, okay? You mm -hmm. remember that. You remember that. Yeah. Hard work. Yeah. Thanks, coach. Yeah. I was going to say, you're welcome. <laughs> As your positional coach that season. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, so there's enough week six uh, review. A lot of fun. Let's move on to week seven, shall we? We're starting off Thursday night football. An intriguing game between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. It's in Philly. I'm going Philly. After watching what they did last week, really? Yeah. Because, because, mm. the, so I'm going to Philly simply because, well, I'll say after. No, I'll no, let, no, you don't need to ex explain this yep. yet. It, you know, yep. no, no explaining, but I'm struggling with that one. Um, I'm going to go with the Giants. Oh. I'm go the Giants. Rob, which obviously means you should, uh, you should go against me. I've always been told if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. So, I was gonna say you still have to pick a team, though. I mean, that means, just... <laughs> or you can just say tie, and we'll be like, okay, fair enough. Giants. Oh, three yes. nothing. Three nothing. Like oh three nothing. Is that what he said? Yes. I mean, Actually, no. Hey, nope. You said nope. Guys. You you said three nothing, bro. That's it. I'd like to go, I'd like to go <laughs> three to two. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Change it up. <laughs> Rob, I thought this was the one you you said, and I quote, yeah. I, I'm never going to pick oh. the NFC East again. Yeah. Maybe next time they play, I'll pick a tie. And that's what you said. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty close. I picked three to two. But I, think, <laughs> I think the Giants are going to be the only team actually scoring. So. Well, I mean, technically they both score if it's three to two. Yeah, but they're the ones getting in the end zone. Their own end yeah, I mean, listen, the <laughs> I Giants, say, the Giants just have to remember. They just have to remember who they are. You know, you got to remember who you are, guys. You know, and who are they? They're the Giants. The, the, come on, you you got to start just pounding the ball with Freeman. Give him the rock. Let him start moving it. You know. You no. Know? I just. Give I just. For rookies, guys. I just. <laughs> I just <laughs> There's still one game out of a playoff, or I mean, out of the first place in the division, dude. That's okay, that's the I, absurd thing. Isn't that everybody division. in that division one place out of the, you know, fucking? Well, besides Dallas, because they're leading it. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, yeah, no, just after after seeing what, because like, yeah, we we beat the shit out of fucking uh, Carson Wentz a lot last week, and that dude just kept fucking popping back up and just you know doing his thing. I mean, I, you know, got to give him fucking credit for that. And, you know, they looked better as the game went on. So, I mean. They they did, but, I mean, don't you don't you think that uh, Baltimore is playing a little lackadaisical at the end there? Was, I mean, well, there's, well, that's the other thing. Is like I've been seeing a, a bunch of stuff that, like, if you look at coming to some of the games we have coming up. Because, of course, we have a bye week this week. So, looking at some of the games coming up, we've been passing the ball more these last few weeks. And I think it's literally just to get, like, Lamar kind of in the habit and in the, like, you know, to get him ready to throw if he needs to sort of thing. Um because we really haven't ran the ball that well in the last few weeks, you know. So I mean, the problem is, is, is your identity is the most valuable possession. Mm -hmm. You got to protect it, okay? I mean, and, and the Eagles lose that when they lose Miles Sanders. True. I mean, Miles isn't playing this week. You got Bart Scott coming in. It's, it's not. I just don't see the Eagles being successful without him. 
I, I, I mean, it, I mean, it's one of those things I say a lot about. When, you know, I give Wentz a lot of shit and everything. Yeah, he looked good on that last drive, but also that last drive that he had was mainly started by two huge like runs by Jalen Hurts. Exactly. Yeah. Did they? I want to say. You can correct me because obviously you watched the full game in yep. entirety with this. But on the, the, the last drive, didn't they get a huge chunk play from pass interference on that one? Oh yeah, that was one. That was a huge. Okay. That was a huge one on uh, guys, Marcus Peters. One guys, guys, we're spending a lot of time on a game that no one gives a shit about. <laughs> <laughs> you love it, Rob. You love it. Yeah. Fun, so, so if you want something done, you've got to do it yourself. Let's move the fuck on. <laughs> wow. That's aggressive, sir. All right, moving on well, to Rob, I, I just real quick. Oh, last thing on this. Mm-hmm. There's gonna be a lot of games that we agree on. I think the ones that we don't agree on are the ones we got to take. You know, Jeff, take Jeff, advantage of. The, the only thing predictable about life is its unpredictability. Okay, that's what you got to remember. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, here's the unpredictability, Jeff. You're eight points behind. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Just let, hey, just always let your conscience just be your guide, okay? Rob, Ohana means family. If you want to be gets left behind and forgot, you remember that. Remember that. Okay? Oh, okay. Starting off Sunday, starting off Sunday afternoon, we got Atlanta, Detroit at Atlanta. Uh, I'm going Detroit. Atlanta, baby? Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. I'm going. I'm going Detroit by about fifty points. You know why? Because it's not worth winning if you can't win big, gentlemen. What? Detroit's going to win forty-two to seven. Oh, it's like wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Didn't he just say that it, like it's going to be over fifty points and then give us a score of forty-two to seven? Yes, he did. Maybe. Yeah, dude, can anybody too. be happy if they aren't free? Relax. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is up with this quote-filled fucking? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. No. I. I'm, I'm. First off. First off. First off. You don't even know where that it's from. I don't care anymore. <laughs> like you guys have thrown so many at me today that like just like with it. We've been live for 15 minutes and y'all have said about like 14 fucking quotes like a minute. <laughs> Are they quotes if they come from our brain? Huh? Yeah, because you just said that. I don't understand that one. Uh, Guys, the Falcons are on, I'm not going to say a win streak, because you can't count one as a win streak. The Falcons looked good last week. I mean, for once, they got up, did what they've done every other game, but they didn't let up the lead. Yeah, who did they play last week? Does it matter? Come on. Yeah, it does. Falcons. Falcons about to be 7-0. and Should be 7-0? I mean, they played the Vikings. I mean, they, they made Kirk Cousins look bad. Everybody's That's made Kirk bad. Cousins look bad. No, 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 no. Not that bad. <laughs> like, Kirk Cousins just looks bad, period. Like, nah. no, no. Detroit's going to do what Detroit does. Detroit's going to put up points, and Atlanta's going to do what they do, and they're going to let up points. Like I've said all fucking season, anybody but Atlanta. ABA. I mean, Atlanta's practically perfect in every way, except for the fact that they've lost seven games. First off, they've only lost five guys, okay? <laughs> Always let your conscience be your guide, okay? And that's what I'm doing right now, and it's not really worked out for me very well this year. <laughs> but Atlanta, <laughs> no, I like to, honestly, though, I, I like the way Gurley's running the ball. I mean, you got Julio came back healthy last week. Look to escape it without another injury. It does scare me that uh, Detroit's coming off a bye. But besides that, I mean, I, I think you could – I don't know. Atlanta's going to put up points, and I mean that's that's thing. Can Detroit's defense stop them enough to do it? You know, it's it, both of them are bad defensive units. Both of them. Both. Of them. So, all right, we can, we can move on to the next one because I know Rob doesn't like spending time on any game. So, <laughs> might as well might as well move on to this blockbuster one next. Year. Oh yeah, this next one is a fucking real blockbuster. We have the Cleveland Browns at the Cincinnati Bengals, <clears throat> and you know what? I'm going Cincinnati. Browns. Oh, yeah, Browns. 33 to 10. Yeah. Right, dude, Baker, Baker Mayfield got, got pulled last game. He's going to be looking to, you know, a little revenge this week. I mean, who better to do it on than a weak Bengals defense? They're having troubles over there. People requesting out. A.J. Green wants out. John Ross wants out. 
Joe Burrow's just he's, he's gonna be yeah. a bust. OB, like, OBJ had Johnson, his yeah. OBJ had his shoes off, his helmet off, and was running his mouth of fans at the beginning of the fourth quarter last week. That's fine. That's fine. He had the right to do that. I mean, everybody has the right to do anything, but I mean. If you ask me, that seems practically perfect in every way. How wouldn't you want to finish a game? Don't you have to do that stuff anyway? Okay, so they. were just getting it done early. (laughs) 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 Browns only won by five last week, and in my opinion, they've gotten worse from then. So, and the Bengals have gotten better. The thing is, the the Browns, I mean, they're they're much like. uh, Avoiding COVID pretty good. Yeah, he's avoiding everything pretty good, like catching the ball against good teams. Guys, I mean, the Browns do, and I think we were talking about this guy. I mean, no, you sent me that meme with the you know Steelers and uh, oh yeah and Ravens. Yeah. Yes, the Browns look good against bad opponents. The Bengals, you're not going to tell me the Bengals are a good opponent. The Browns will beat the teams they need to beat. Okay. They, oh yeah, I mean, gonna I, beat the Bengals. I mean, uh, no, I, I don't, I don't see it. I think that this is going to be one of those 50-50 divisional games, and I think the Bengals come out on top. It's in Cincinnati. Yes. Joe Joe Burrow doesn't want to be fucking embarrassed. You worry so much about all the shit that goes on on the outside of the Browns. It's what's on the inside that counts, and that's called hand the fucking ball off. They're going to run for 300 yards against the goddamn Bengals. Okay, who are they handing the ball off to, Rob? It doesn't fucking matter. You can hand it off who to the my Browns grandmother. Are hot. Well, yeah, I know that, Jeff. I was asking Rob because Rob's saying it doesn't matter what's on the outside, yet doesn't know who's getting the ball. <laughs> It doesn't. It doesn't matter who's on the outside. Every game, look it up. Every game that the Browns have won, they've rushed for almost two hundred yards or more. If they want to win the game, they need to run it right down the fucking Bengals' throat. Yeah, which they did, and they only won by five in week two. Who cares how much they won by? But Cincinnati's win. gotten better since then. Win's a win. Guys, I just want to get a little stat out here. Baker Mayfield career time against Cincinnati four and one. He's going to move to five and one. End of, end of the game. That's it. Green Bay at Houston. <laughs> I love it. College is like, if I get him out. <laughs> you might as well just I'm move on. You, who are you going with? I'm here? going pack. Pack. You going pack? Rob, do we lose you? Oh, am I out? <laughs> yeah. It's my turn. Um, I think I'm going to be brave here. Oh, yeah. God. Green Bay is 5-0 all time against Houston. Don't do it. Yeah, you know what? Being brave Don't doesn't mean you go looking for trouble. We're just going to pick the Packers here, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with a nice 33-27. All right, so that's the first one we all agree on. Yeah, see, and that's what I mean. I just I think it's gonna be you know we'll go over this quick. It's, you know, obviously all of us pay. It. Houston's looking a little better. Obviously, Romeo didn't make the right call to going down the stretch. You know, he would they would have convert to a conversion, go back forth, whatever you want. Packers have a get right game here, in my opinion. Um, you know, the adventure's still out there, but I mean, it's the the Packers are gonna come away with this one. I don't think it's uh, Rob. Would you go with the score on this? Going thirty three twenty seven. I don't mean, I don't think it's going to be that close to it. I mean, you might as well you might as well put them up by I'm going to say at least two scores on that one. I just I don't know. I, I mean, I, I like the Texans swag since Romeo's been in charge. I mean, it's just that I I just think that the Pack's front seven is going to be too much. And like I said, they're going to be pissed off for last week. Too. They put up an absolute Oh, it was a fucking great game last week. Like Horrible. I mean, they look great in the first quarter. Yeah. But I mean, coming off a of bye week, that's not what you want to look like, guys. I'm sorry. No. That's 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 my my thing. With it. Rob, any words of wisdom? About the Packers game? No, about the three three games before that. That would be back to the Eagles Giants, and no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Carolina at New Orleans. What do you got? Carolina. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, I mean, every, where is it? At New Orleans? It's at New Orleans. At New Orleans. You know, because it Saints. matters with COVID. Um, 
I mean, Colin, I agree with you. I mean, even miracles take a little time. The time just isn't right, though, for them yet. No. Not yet. It's getting there. It's getting there for the, those Panther team. It's just not right yet. Yeah, I'm going with the Saints. 28-14. I mean, this one is – this honestly is an intriguing one for me um, with Teddy Bridgewater coming back to the Saints. And I wonder if he mm-hmm. shares a little, uh, little, little insight. A yeah, little insight. Long tenure. But what would you say? You have that long tenure there, you know. I, I mean, I don't care how long your tenure was. I mean, it's just you're still there, you still learn plays, you still should be able to shine a little light on it. But I think, just honestly, if I don't want to say definitely, but if it wasn't the Saints coming off a bye, I think I would be more more likely to go the other way. You know, but the Saints are coming off a bye. Sean Payton's going to figure it out, I think. I mean, and that's what I said before. I mean, he's, he's got to eventually figure it out. And Michael Thomas should be playing this game. If Michael Thomas plays, it's not close. Now, who are they going to have to stop Michael Thomas? I mean, Alvin Kamara can then go back doing Alvin Kamara things. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what do you think? I mean, yeah, no, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, I just, I'm just thinking that it's going to be one of those things where, I mean, we say that, we say about, you know, who's going to stop Michael Thomas and who's going to stop um, Kamara, who's going to stop the Panthers, you know, on the Saints D, because the Saints D hasn't looked good this year, so. Haven't looked good outside of the first week. Yeah, I mean. They absolutely smothered Tampa in the first week, smothered. How much if you don't think their, they did, go back and look at it. their defense, and Tampa just not having any rhythm yet. Yeah, that's the other thing. No, it was their defense. It was their de- they were getting after the quarterback. I don't care what you have rhythm-wise. I don't you, know, not, I mean, man. I don't know. That's a good point. I, mean, I think it's, it's going to be a good This, be a, this I mean, is going to be a good game, but... I just, I just don't think the Panthers are that good. I mean, I don't either. I just... I. I mean, so against the Saints this season, just I, I absolutely hate the way the fucking they're using Taysom Hill. And like me and Jeff talked about it, this is the dude that's supposed to be quote unquote their future, and he's thirty fucking two. That's exactly that's my issue, which that makes me believe that Jameis is really going to be the future. Oh. So you see, you uh, do you see a situation coming up if uh, Drew Brees continues to struggle? Do you put Jameis in? Do you switch it up? Well, that's the thing. Uh, like, I, I honestly believe Peyton puts in fucking Taysom Hill. I mean, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I wouldn't either, but I mean... The miracles? Here he comes, baby. Get Jameis back in the game. This is the only time I'm ever going to fucking say this, but I would put in Jameis Winston. Let's go. Say it, say it. I'm going to say it, Do you believe the miracles? Say it. Yes, say it. Yes. Moving on, we go we we go Buffalo at the Jets. Do I even wait, wait, real quick, real quick, Jeff, Jeff, what? Jeff. We better talk about the Bills and Jets because if you pick against the Bills this week, is like you did Jeff, in week one, Jeff, bad. Jeff, every choice you make, just let it come from your heart, okay? And I will. Go Buffalo. <laughs> I was going to say, do I really need to? Do I even need to ask on this one? Like, Oh, you need no, to ask. Should, we should do it. I fucking dare you, Rob. Fucking do it. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. <laughs> fucking Rob's do doing it. it. He's doing it. I know he is. <laughs> uh, Rob, 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 is your, do you want to survive or do you want to live? What is it? Because I don't want to survive. I want to live. Go Bills. <laughs> Where is this game? It's in New York. <laughs> it's in New Jersey, correction. Wait, is it in New York or is it in New Jersey? Oh, sorry, it's sorry, sorry. Jersey. It's in Jersey. My bad. If it's in New York, that means it's a Buffalo game. And that's, that's <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Well, I mean, you picked the Jets against them when they were in Buffalo Rob, anyway, so Rob, I mean. If you, the Bills, if you pick the Bills, you will always be in my heart. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll take the bills. Oh. Take the bills. Yes. <laughs> there is right. three to nothing. Honestly, we have to talk about three this. Three to nothing. The Jets are an absolute. They just they just traded they just traded another linebacker by the way. No, I saw that. Who they, they're talking about trading Quinn and Williams. Mm-hmm. The one thing that does get me is Sam Darnold could be back this week. They're obviously a better team so far with Sam. And I yeah, think that's mostly because of, because he knows the offense. I'm not going to say he's even a better quarterback than Joe right now. I'm not. 
Well, I mean, they were also saying that Sam Darnold was going to get fucking traded. So, I mean... <laughs> yeah. I it just... I don't get it. I just... <sighs> The Jets, the Jets, I feel like they have a mindset that if they're going hard enough left, they're going to find themselves turning right. Like, that's the problem, guys. Like, it's just, they, they don't have a clear direction on where they're going, you know? Well, I mean, that's, a, that's I mean, like, yeah, it's, did you, did you see the uh, interview with, um, fuck, what's his name? Um, who's the DC? Rod, Roddy, uh, who's the DC? Greg Williams. Oh, Greg, uh. Greg Williams. Yeah, they they were yeah they, yeah they were talking with Greg Williams and it was fucking yeah. hilarious because like they were saying about like issues and everything and, he's, and he was just kind of like he basically very slyly said like yeah Adam it's all Adam Gase's fault and he's a fucking idiot and they I know, they were going back and forth <laughs> blaming each other I'm like, that's not the way he did it. It was fucking awesome because they're like they're like um who are you talking about exactly and then he just looked at the camera he's like oh you know and it was like oh fuck dude, it like dude, there, was right. a, there was a meme going around out there and they like put long hair on. Uh, Greg Williams, and it goes, I'm a damsel, I'm in distress, I can handle this, have a nice day. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, dude, I'm like, this is just, it's, it's gone way too much of a, a shit show down there. Sorry for my language, just way too much of a shit show down there. It's, uh, uh, we, we can move on from this one, it's just, it's bad. It's yeah, I was going to say, we really don't need to talk much about this, it's going to be. <laughs> Alright, so this next one's an interesting one, so for everyone out there that doesn't know, we have Pittsburgh at Tennessee. Now, this is the game that was supposed to play in week four. I think if I if I, I was have that say, right. I don't have that on my schedule. On my, <laughs> that's funny because that's about as far as we went with the Bills. And, so you started, oh, you yeah. said, okay, Pittsburgh, I'm time yeah. to go. Yeah. Um, so that was the game from week four. So what we've decided is because that game, we already picked the winners for that game in week four, we're going to stick with our picks this week. So I'm picking Tennessee. I think I picked Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Yeah. Who did I pick? Yeah. Oh. So Pittsburgh. So uh, I picked Tennessee. Jeff and Scratchy both picked uh, Pittsburgh, and and they said thirteen you know to twelve. Hey, that's a pie crust promise, baby. Easily made, easily broken. You can switch that anytime. <laughs> but can we though? No. no. I think honestly. I mean, I I'm honestly less confident with how good Tennessee's been looking. Mm-hmm. Of this pick that I was in week what three was it? Yes, week three I want to say. Yeah, week three, week um, four, something I'm like definitely that. Definitely less confident. Steelers defense has been a little bit lax on the rush, mm-hmm. and obviously you guys also. Uh, Derek Henry did last week. Absolutely insane. Yeah. I mean, that dude's rumbling, rumbling. I just, I, I think, I think this is gonna be a fun game to watch, man. Like, you know, it was a fun game. It was gonna be a fun game in week four. It's now week seven. It's still gonna be a fucking fun game to watch. Like, oh, it's obviously, I mean, you got two five and zero teams coming in. It's great. It's still gonna be a great game. Also, can we talk? Just... Can we talk about fucking how genius fucking uh, variable is? Go, uh, I gotta go grab some banana bread real quick. Okay. Um, can we talk about how genius it was that uh, fucking uh, variable? put 12 guys out in the field knowing very well that he put 12 guys out there to get the yes. penalty so it counts yes. as a timeout like it was fucking that's fucking five that's like that's like that's IQ like fucking 900 it's next level yeah I mean, that's, I mean that's like what it is. it's you know, and there's, so <laughs> and then are, did you let's, let's, oh yeah, my god rules are made to be broken Bro. <laughs> until it gets broken no one knows it's a problem did you did right? you did you hear his uh interview afterwards I did not. They basically asked him specifically about it, right? And his response was, yeah, we need to really uh, work on the uh, penalties. We had too many penalties. Um, And the offensive ones are just, we can't do that. (laughs) (laughs) Like, it was so fucking great. Like, I was like, I heard it. I'm just like, I was like, okay. Dude, the problem is they should, I mean. Yeah, like this, like. I don't want to say they shouldn't have won the game. I mean, they they were up so big in that game Mm -hmm. that they, they let them come back. I mean. It's, but but I, I'm going back to Steelers real quick here. Yep. Steelers have a new weapon, um, in Chase Claypool since mm-hmm. the week three matchup. He's looking real good mm-hmm. out there. They are going. Ooh, excuse me. They are going to be getting Deontay Johnson back. Should be a boost for that offense. Going. I mean, go three wide even more now. Um, I'm just waiting to see. I mean, the Steelers have been known over the years to get their tight ends involved. Yeah. I'm waiting to see Eric Ebron. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you, you go out and you spend this money on the guy, and I. He hasn't been relevant at all, really. I mean, he has two fumbles. I'm pretty sure. Um, Some, I mean, it's. I mean, it's. I it yeah, bad. I mean, it's. It's one of those things. Like, like you look at you look at Ibram as well. Like I feel like his best years are kind of behind him a little bit. Like he's one of the oh, yeah, he's one of the sure, older sure. like older like quote unquote reliable tight ends. But I mean, it's not like it's not like when Vernon Davis hit the market. 
You know, oh, it's not like when Jimmy Graham hits the market. You know, it's like it's crazy that Vernon Davis. Dude, like, I just want to go real quick off tangent. That dude, what do you, he ran like a four three something? Oh, bro, it was beautiful. School. Fucking watching so, I mean, it. Dude, oh when, my god. Even I, after you know he's ten years down the road, the dude's still running four fours. And yeah, what? it's he's still out running. People. Yeah, it's like you can't cover him. Like it's, so I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just it's one of those things. And like, yeah, the Steelers have looked well, but this is their. I think this is their first true like competition really um i'm trying to look at this give me one second. i just want to pull this up yeah now that now that i actually um, now that i just i just said that out loud they, uh, and then <laughs> no, I mean, obviously they dominated uh let's see uh, here what's it called? That's, uh, Cleveland okay season. so that, that was just... apple crisp oh it was an apple crisp oh even better, Ooh, even even better. better so yeah so um, let's see so they beat they beat the giants by 10 they beat the Broncos by five. We're talking about the just the Steelers schedule. Um, the the Broncos by five. They beat the Texans by seven. They beat the Eagles by nine, and then they just destroyed the Browns. So every game they played, other than this past week, were fucking close games. And now they're playing yeah, I mean, the best Eagles, team that they're playing. Like, yeah. oh, it, it, it should definitely. I mean, it's gonna be a good game. I'm mean, no mad, but it's just. So I just want to go real quick. The Eagles was coming off of that weird week of them. Mm-hmm. Are they gonna play? Are they not gonna play? Just yep. Because you know, obviously, Tennessee's garbage and can't stay away from the Rona. So I mean, they <laughs> obviously put it together against Cleveland. That's a division game. That can go either way. Close, blow up, whatever. I mean, that's that's what happens. The Eagles did pull the same thing they did against the Ravens though, where they started just trying. To fight back at the end. Yeah. Um. So I mean, at the beginning of the year, still trying to figure things out. I, I mean, they just they're rumbling. Dude. They're rumbling on offense, especially James Conner. I think had his first hundred yard game last week. He's looking to get the rock. I mean, it's just they have a lot of weapons. It's going to be. You know, I think. I think just kind of giving a quick glance over the, the entire schedule. I think this is the like the game of the week, honestly. Um. Yeah. It's kind of. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, this, just given it. Game, I mean, there's one more game coming up that's the game of the week. I think I know which okay, one you're talking about, but yeah. I think this one is, dude. I mean, in this game, everything is possible, even the impossible. It's all the cards are out there, dude. Yeah. Are you going to have to stop, you know, Derrick Henry on the run? Or are you going to have to stop Ryan Tan, who's looking phenomenal? And like I said earlier, they're getting back Corey Davis. Adds another element to that. You have this year. How are they going to use him? I mean, are you going to be able to have the same uh, rapport that they had last year? I mean, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Up. All right, so now we have the final, oh, yeah. the final of the uh, one o'clock games. We have Dallas at Washington. Cowboys at the football team. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is gonna. This is a shit I'm, show. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. I'm doing this. I'm changing what I have actually written here. I'm going Washington. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to go Cowboys. Got to do it. Who's the QB for Washington right now? It's, Kyle yeah, it's Kyle Allen. Who? Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. But it's one of those things, <laughs> though, where... Ron's going to go with who. <laughs> um, <sighs> well, I mean, Alex Smith did play in the last game as well, so... This past game he did, too? Hey. You know, for that by week this past show. week. I'm, I'm going with the Did Red they? Rocket because no, the true hero is not measured by the size of his strength because he has none. But by the strength <laughs> of his heart. Okay? Just hand the fucking ball off. It, but that's the problem. And that's what are we the, saying score-wise? Right Real quick. Six to three. <laughs> fucking we got some great fucking scores this week. Guys, the problem with that, I mean, Zeke had two fumbles. On, I'm pretty sure they were back-to-back, if not one in between carries last week that dude something's in his head right now because he is just fumbling the rock and don't be surprised if and I, I i hate it because i have him on fantasy teams hashtag first place uh, <laughs> um if tony pollard out touches him this week i would not be surprised tony pollard is he's good and you guys both know because i destroyed you guys in fan or in uh madden with him just you know throwing it out there but uh uh <laughs> But Ezekiel, he really has a fumbling problem right now, and it's it's an issue. It really is. And Dalton, I mean, yeah, it's his first start this year. First start in, I don't know, when was the last time he started? I mean, did he start Reese? I don't know. Um, what did you hear? Did you hear what uh, some Dallas players have been saying? They suck. Negative. 
Well, no, yeah, I mean, other than the, the fact that are they suck. Talking, are you talking about the, this past week? The coaches? Yeah. Yeah. How no, oh, like, McCarthy. no, no, yeah, how like none of them were ready for this game. Exactly. I just I like me and Jeff were talking about it earlier because I was reading something saying about like the coach, the head coach that they should have picked and all this. I just I'm with Dak even not with Dak not there. It's just it. I'm yeah. there's something weird going on in Dallas, man. Like that's it. That, that's what I'm gonna say. There there's is, something fucking there weird is. going on. Real quick, going back to this because I just did look it up. Uh, Washington did play Oscars. I saw this thing, but um, that's the one. Uh, we lost the Giants twenty to nineteen. Oh yep. Um, there we go. Because Riverboat Ron, dude, he does it all the time. Mm-hmm. I love guide your actions, and he did, and he got stuff. Yeah. Two point conversion at the end instead of going for the tie. Don't play for overtime, guys. Don't play for overtime. Uh, except last week, it killed you both times. Both Washington and Houston lost because they did not play for overtime. Yeah, do like what Rob tells you: go for the win and then get the win. Um, thank you, Rob. Oh, I, I agree. <laughs> yeah, hey, if you're going to go for the win, you better fucking get it. Yeah. Oh, exactly. That's the thing. Is it has otherwise, it. you lose. That's how it, it works. That's three oh, that's that I can remember the last weeks. You know, with going back to Minnesota, that it's happened yeah. to them. You know? So I mean, I just like I said, I just I think this is this is I think the week that they'll start to get shit turned back around. All right, but now going on to the four o'clock games. First one, we got Seattle at Arizona. I'm going Seattle. This is my game of the week. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why? Just because points. Arizona looked good for points, one week. Seattle points. points. Seattle. Seattle's, Seattle's defensive backs suck. The Cardinals are going to put up forty points. This is going to be like a forty-nine, forty-two game. This is going to be an absolute shootout. There is no um, way they put up 49 points. You know why? Because it's physically impossible. Cause, no, because Kyler Murray completes 37% of his freaking passes. You don't win games consistently that way. I'm still you waiting for Rob to pick, a, pers- uh, to pick a, you know. Yeah, Cardinals. 49-42. Real, real quick, though, real quick. I mean, you get, you get uh, what's his name? Oh, who's the coach now? Who's the coach of Arizona? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Kingsbury? Yeah, Cliff Kingsbury. Kingsbury. You know, Kingsbury comes in and he's like, oh, I got Josh Rosen, but now you were my new dream. Now he comes out and goes into Kyler. Kyler can't hit any pass. He was 9 for 24 last week. 9 for 24. Come on. Come on. Still threw for still threw for almost 200 yards and two touchdowns. They ran for 107. Kenyon Drake ran for 170. I'm I'm going to there. don't let Christian Kirk behind you. I'm He's going. Fine. I'm going to say the Seahawks defense is uh, drastically better than the Cowboys. So I mean, yeah, and they should have Earl Thomas back this week too. It? Yes, it yes, it is. <laughs> the reason I don't think it really is is because they gave up 35 points to the Patriots who. Took three trick plays and a pass interference to score any points against the Broncos. Yeah, so what uh, okay. The so what we're talking about is the fact that though. Kyler Murray just went nine for twenty-four, almost threw for two hundred yards against that defense, against the Cowboys' defense. Yeah, nine for tw- he completed nine passes and they still won guys, by twenty-eight guys, points. Guys, yeah, guys, calm, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Nothing's more important than our friendship. Okay, just remember that. But Russell Wilson was six one and one career on the road. Versus Arizona. Just remember that. Just remember oh, no that. shit. The Cardinals have sucked until this year. They, he better be 6 1 and 1. Throwing it out there, Rob. Okay? The fact that he lost the game is embarrassing. <laughs> and he tied? He tied? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the wild one to me, I, Rob. Rob's because like, I'm fixated on the loss. I'm fixated on the tie. When the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Rob's over here saying, I never look back, darling. <laughs> <laughs> um, what to do, Rob? Just distracts him from the now. I don't know why right. he told me that earlier. I don't know. <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs at we Denver Broncos. Something. That that's that's for another time for you guys. Another time. There was something he said that for me, but Chiefs Broncos. What were you saying though? Chiefs, let's go. Yep. Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> um hey, you know what? You gotta do don't it. Don't do it. It's in Denver. <laughs> and and Drew Locke's back, and we know that you love Drew Locke. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Chiefs by 25. <laughs> so 20. So what's the score gonna be? 24 That's to 13. to 12. <clears throat> yeah, we don't need to talk about Mahomes that. Mahomes is having a girl. Everyone, just throwing it out there for everyone listening. That Congratulations. It's not listening for the football. Just throwing yeah, it out there. T- it's tough when you when you've done so well for the last few weeks, 
I, I've, I feel like ever since I picked the Jets to beat the Bills, <laughs> I learned from my failures. <laughs> and I have not learned at all from these successes because I keep picking shitty teams to try and win games. I love how he says and that. It confuses me, man. See, that's the problem. Is Rob's, Rob's picking all the easy ones now, and he's not really mm-hmm. going on. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm like ah. after after we after week one, Rob goes, "Oh, everyone's picking safe now, I guess." You know, and then since then, he's like, "Well, you know, it's all about winning." You know. And then they just picked the Cardinals. What are you talking about, guys? Yeah, you just you just you made some valid points. Thank you. I yeah. Appreciate that. And they're still gonna lose, but um. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on now, we have the Rob, just keep dreaming on it, dude. If you dream more than once, I heard it comes true. <laughs> I've also heard that like so. There's a video game that apparently you can play those two teams. So maybe you can play as the Cardinals and get that win. Ooh, um, let's do that. Yeah. Um, let's do it. So then we have do it, do it, do it. it. Um, Jacksonville Jaguars at the LA Chargers. Oh, this is really messing up the second half of my schedule. Sorry, guys. Go Chargers, go down there. Um, I'm gonna go the Chargers. Keep it good there. Rob says, "I don't care about what you get." Yeah, Rob's like, "I'm, I'm, looking, I'm just looking. I'm just looking at something real quick." Mm-hmm. Rob, just, just keep swimming, dude. Just keep swimming. <laughs> uh, it's just, uh, I really want to pick the Jaguars, but no, I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, being young and beautiful like Minshaw is not a crime, but. <laughs> It's he's just bad at football. That is. <laughs> bad no, at I, football. I don't know about even that young and beautiful part. Dude. Yeah, that I, mustache got to go. I've seen a movie. Swear, I've seen I've seen a movie well, that has that. Is somehow is somehow keep it going down his neck. Into his like yeah, chin, okay. like. What's the score? Yeah, Chargers what? We got a Mitchu's mustache. We gotta get off of that. What's it? Well, yeah, I'm trying to get the score. Like Justin Herbert. <laughs> oh yeah, um, Chargers. 24 to 16. 24 to 16. Okay, okay. All right, so now let's talk I mean, about Justin Herbert's Herbert, flow. Least, you know, um, good. Yeah, good. he's, yeah. Like, I mean, like, like I think Rob said it, like, it was either two weeks ago or off, or when we were playing a uh, game during the week or something like that. Like, Her- Herbert is losing because of Anthony Lynn play calling and that sort of stuff. Like, Safe that's play it. play calling, yes. That's it. Yeah, Anthony yeah. Lynn treats him like a rookie QB, and because of it, they keep losing close games. Yeah, no. And that's my thing is, guys, I, I really want to see him open the playbook. Um, coming off a of bye week, you got Keenan Allen coming back fully healthy. He obviously learned to trust Mike Williams um, in the last game. He obviously didn't win, but they learned to trust Mike Williams. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's um, like, going the, down the stretch. He's got he's got weapons there. I mean, he has some <laughs> Austin Eckler, actually, they said. Injury note, but uh, uh, they actually said he's going to be out later rather than sooner, so it looks like it's more serious than originally anticipated or he's not progressing the way they want it to be. Um, but, no, I mean, they charge the offense looking good. The defense, I mean, they're, not, they're not top-notch. I mean, I mean without, without their well, yeah, well, Derwin. keys, <laughs> mostly in the secondary, but, mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're, looking good. they're looking good. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's wild seeing, like, because, of course, you guys both know I liked Herbert anyway. I didn't expect Herbert to be doing this. Already as a rookie. So, okay, I mean, honestly, though, going forward for the NFL successes in general, look at that division, guys. You know, the Chargers, the Chiefs, the mm-hmm. Raiders on the up and up, the Broncos, even. I mean, they're looking good. You can, that's, I mean, obviously, outside of uh, Tampa, New Orleans, I mean, they could be one of the better divisions. Um, yeah, out there. That whole, that whole division sitting there, and they know it's better to. It's better to look ahead, you know, rather. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Go on, next. <laughs> like, it, no, it, I mean, well, no, like you know, yeah. Future, that that yeah, that, that whole happened. division is just yeah, yeah it's yeah, all future. You're headed rather than where you were. Like, yeah, I mean, all, like I mean, like you look at it because you sit there and see these teams like. The fa- it, I'm not gonna lie. To you. The reason I went through the Jaguars is because I sat there and went Chargers. Oh, they suck. And it's not really the case. They're they're a good football team that just can't freaking figure out how to finish games right now. Mm-hmm. Like literally, what was it two years ago? They were in the playoffs and they were predicted to almost upset the Pats. Like, oh, exactly. yeah, I mean, yeah, they, yeah, they, I mean, didn't they have them a good in that team? Game too? Yeah, 
Yeah. The Raiders just beat the Chiefs. Well, was that? I'm, like, Colin, I'm not being a dick here. What, wasn't, that was the year that they beat Lamar, right? Yeah, that was yeah, that was Lamar's first year yeah, in the playoffs. Yeah. Because we beat them. Loss, yeah, because we beat them. We beat them yeah. week 16, I think it was, and then week 17, yep. they were just, or whatever, the first round of the playoffs. They were like, okay, cool, we're gonna play with eight DBs and fuck you. Like, and yeah, it worked. Exactly, yeah. Like yeah. you know, and it was it was one of those things where like yeah, I mean like they, that was a good t- looking team, you know. So yeah, it's just it's. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that division, though, you look at it. I mean, really, you look at it. Derek Carr is, like, the old man of the entire group. If you're saying that about a division, that's fucking wild. Like, yeah. No, I mean, that's the thing. Every division is getting, I mean, even, because you like to say it about the, um, the AFC North, but it's it's really a two-man race this year, I, I still feel. Um, how long is Baker gonna last in that division? I don't know. Burroughs is is gonna be there. Obviously, Maybe. Big Ben's getting out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Well, I mean so, that's. I mean, it's one of those things. You look at that. It's like, well, we got Baker, we had Lamar, we have Burroughs, and then we still have Big Ben. We know for a fact they're gonna get someone new for Big Ben here within a year or two. You know, possibly even trading for Sam Darnold, as we've all been saying secretly. Um, you know, so I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's like, I think that there's some divisions right now where it's like you look at what they're doing QB wise and it's like, yeah, it fucking makes total sense. You know? mm-hmm. um, all right, so the final of the um, of the uh, four o'clock games, we have the San Francisco 49ers in New England. And you know what? You know what? I'm going Niners. Is that supposed to be a shock? Going Niners. I mean, I'm just saying based off of what Patriots looked like last week and the and uh, the how the Niners looked last week, it's I'm gonna go the Niners too. I'm gonna go the Niners too. Yeah. Oh, scratch. So the the only reason in the the only reason I am picking the um the Patriots is because of the 49ers health. Okay, fair Richard enough. Shur- Sherman and D Ford have already been ruled out. Yep. Um Trent Williams got a high ankle sprain and he's 50-50 right now on if he's gonna play. And with them having a a bye week in a, a few weeks, I, I think it'd be smart if they probably rested players, but I think that's the only because re- I really don't know if the Pats run defense and stop the running attack. And I also don't know if the Patriots can score any points. Because Cam yeah. Newton, Cam, hey, that, all those shoulder questions in, from the past, yeah, those They're are coming up. Cam yeah. Newton literally underthrew, well, I'm going to blank on his fucking name, this, the receiver that has literally played on 20 different teams in like four years. He was wide open down the field, and he underthrew him by about 15 yards. Cam Newton, is, Cam Newton is supposed to be the guy that has the rocket cannon arm who can throw it 70 yards. That's not who he is no, anymore. That's, he's, that's an old, he's, an old QB. he's an old QB who can run a little bit. Demir Bird, that's his name. Yes, Bird. But, um, <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. I, I, the only reason I'm picking the You've almost is... talked yourself out of picking the Yeah, right, exactly, yeah. yeah. But I will give you a better one to, to support your decision. Rasheed Mostert, leading back for the Niners, out. is going to be out. Mm-hmm. So that, it should help your decision. I mean, you got Jarek McKinnon. That does scare me with that, you know, that team. They got McKinnon and Hasty. I think Wilson, Jeff Wilson, is still out for the Niners. Um, so you got Hasty. If, you, Jarek if these McKinnon. two teams were both 100% healthy, I would say 49ers all the way, dude. Yeah. yeah and that's even if like, the Patriots yeah. had the players that didn't opt out. Yeah, I'd take the 49ers. Like, so what are you saying games. score-wise here? Ooh, it's going to be an ugly It's going to be an ugly game. Like, I think it's probably going to be like an 18-16 like they were just in it. Okay. Um, my thing is, I think Sherman being out for the Niners is actually positive for the Niners because Jason Verrett is playing out of his fucking mind. I was going to say, yeah. He's playing like, out of his week, fucking mind. You know, sometimes you're, our strengths... The only thing, the surface, honestly, the only thing... exactly what they're showing here. My biggest yeah. worry is the very first thing that Rob said, which well, the, one of the very first things, is Trent Williams. Because his backup did not look good, and Trent Williams is, as we all know, he's one of the better tackles in the league, if not one of the best. Um, and yeah, I just... But I mean, you're also, you're also going against <laughs> a, a Rams front mm-hmm. compared to... 
the yeah, interest of course. From, yeah, I mean, that, yeah. that is that's and a I big mean, difference. And this is and um, the thing. And with the thing with Cam, I mean, like, I mean, like, we, I mean, I said it early in the in the, in the year, and I think you guys might have as well. But it's like, yeah, he's had shoulder injuries for the last how many years? And how many times did they run QB power and have him run at the beginning of the year? Like they basically asked for themselves to get them into this situation, in my opinion. You say that, but the guy said two weeks off. That's fine. He's still old, and he's still had major shoulder problems throughout his entire career as a quarterback, who's been like basically run this season as, "Hey, go put your shoulder into that guy." Remember, though, the shoulder injury was not what sidelined him last season. Oh, of course not. But I mean, it still it was, still was an issue last season before he got hurt. You guys know. His- you guys know as well as I do, attitude reflects leadership. And that's the issue I have with Cam. Is he really that leader? You know? Oh, you mean you mean huh? if you if you look good, you play good, and if you play good, they pay good. You mean that shit? That's, yeah. That's my point, dude. That's yeah. my point. Yeah, shut your mouth, get back in the fucking playbook and actually play well. Alright. Sunday night game, right here on the channel, doing it live. No footage, just me running my mouth. Um, Phenomenal game, though. Phenomenal game. Yeah, this is. Uh, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the LA Raiders. Old rivalry, but I mean, new city. Um, it's in you LA. Ain't scared, you ain't alive, guys. This is the game. This is the game. Raiders coming off a bye, which I think helps them out big time. I'm. I'm going Raiders. Ooh, I'm going Bucks. Colin, the only limit is your imagination, dude. Come on, come on, just start doing it. I am. Going with these teams. Come on. Bro, you and me have picked like so many different teams. So, I mean. I know. It's probably because I got a kid to my imagination running wild. <laughs> All these possibilities. The, uh, the, the Raiders. Ooh. And I'm picking them 37-34. Because the Buccaneers one. defense is not that good as they showed last week. Or they were really good last week, but they're not that good. And a team that can actually run the ball down their throat is going to be their Achilles heel. Mm-hmm. The Raiders' secondary does suck, so they are going to give up points. But I think, as you also saw last week, the Buccaneers, if you don't if you don't give them the ball in the red zone, they really struggle to drive down the field. Oh, they yeah. do, yeah, they to really sustain do. drives. So I think the Raiders are going to have yeah. to, uh, unless they've really choked this one up, I think the Raiders are a bad matchup for the Buccaneers. Teams that can run the ball right at that defense, this... that's what they are. That team is built for pass rushing. Mm-hmm. In getting an early lead, my if thing you is my th- trouble. I'm just my, right back. my biggest thing is I think <laughs> the the I think the I think the Raiders will make make a mistake or more mistakes than the Buccaneers. That's my only reason why I'm picking the Bucks because I think that the Bucks defensively, yes, they don't look great, but when you have Sue Levante David and uh, Winfield and they make plays, they have actual defensive playmakers where the Raiders do not. I think that's a huge. I think that's a huge difference we can't overlook. Colin, why are you always threatening my people any different than you? Why? Why, man? What do you mean? Just let I'm... it go. Pick the Raiders. Come on. No. Jump the bandwagon. No. <laughs> I, I picked. I, I picked them more than once before, bro. Like, <laughs> dude. So, so here's a, a nice little stat. Um, okay. It just it goes way back though. John Gruden's first game versus Tampa since taking them. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to the Super Bowl. How cool is that? How cool is that? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean that's I mean that's pretty so, cool I mean, on everything, but I mean no bearings on the game. I just think it was a cool, cool thing. And I mean, the Raiders play well at home. I mean they love that new stadium. Oh yeah, I, I mean who wouldn't fucking love that, that stadium? Packed. You know, can't wait for that thing to be packed. That thing's just gonna be bonkers. Bonkers. But no, I mean the Raiders like Rob was saying, dude. The running game, the passing game coming off a bye, I think they're gonna get some work on it. Oh yeah, like well, like, like I said, that's that's literally the the main reason why I'm picking the Bucks is just I just I expect wait for it, wait for it, then I'll let you talk. I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. Go can ahead. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Marcus Mariota is off of IR. Oh. I want to see what John Gruden does with this man, dude. I okay, you ready for this? This is, this is what he's going to do with him. You ready? You ready for this? He's going to give him an earpiece and a clipboard, and he's going to stand on the sidelines and write things down. No, no, no. He, he will be in there. You, th- you think Taysom Hill's bad? They're going to be forcing that boy on the field. If they do, I will change my pick mid-game. <laughs> 
it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I love it. I love um, it. you know, like I said, that my biggest thing is the reason why I'm picking the Bucks is because I think they make less mistakes. That's it. Yeah, and that's and that is the thing. I mean, the the Raiders. I mean, I still think they're a year away from uh, you know being true contenders. I mean, they look good some games, but obviously they have some downers too. But you know, they come out. They. Oh, hey, the honestly, Saints, dude, pretty dude, handy. Really? Wait, wait. We we we're talking about the Raiders or the Buccaneers? I mean, we're talking about both of those teams because they're playing each other right on now, Sunday what, night. What downers have the Raiders had? The two losses to the Raiders. The only bad game they played was against the Pats. They played fairly well against the Bills. They beat the Chiefs. They beat the Saints. They looked really bad against the Bills, actually. Well, it was a lot closer than it was. They, they yeah, scored really no, late in that but, game, but it's... I mean, that's... Right now, they, I mean, they, they beat the Saints. Saints beat the Bucks. They, they, they looked the really good, bad against the Panthers, too. They barely squeaked out with that win, and you already said that you don't think they're that good a football team. We've already discussed we don't think New Orleans is that good a football team. You know, yeah. Well, oh, that was good of a football team did beat the Buccaneers, just saying. Who are we talking about? Saints? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, come, week one, I mean, you don't know what's going on. You know, it's just they, they almost let them come back, too. And why did they beat them in that game? Because anyway. Tom Brady was rusty. Threw a pick six. Ooh, pick six. just found this out four hours ago. Raiders Bucks game could be in jeopardy over Las Vegas positive test. The entire <laughs> offensive line for the Raiders was sent home today because Trent Brown was put on the COVID nineteen test. Buccaneers, change it up, Buccaneers. Um, Buccaneers change it up. The game back. will nope. the game will not happen. I call a tie. <laughs> <Change> <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Where'd you get that information from? What is this? Yeah, Jeff, you're supposed to be the guy that knows these things. It says two hours ago, could Raiders Buck be in jeopardy over Las Vegas positive test? It says Raiders put right tackle Trent Brown on reserve COVID-19 lessons, sent home all of their offensive linemen. See, the problem is I think they'll play, and that's going to be even... If Even they do, more oh god! Issue. If they play, I'm going to be so angry. That's such such garbage. All right. Well, they sent home today. They sent home one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They sent home ten offensive linemen. You guys, we're going seven v seven. Come on, let's go. Oh. Air. First yeah, air. yeah, Bucks, Bucks win. I win. I win. <laughs> All right, uh, Monday, Monday, the Monday night game. Okay. Damn it, they're screwing my picks up. That that's gonna be the one I get wrong this week. Guys. So the Monday. <laughs> also, they're, having, they're having running backs playing center over here. Oh, it's, it's freaking garbage. Oh. Okay, so the so the Monday night game we have the Chicago Bears at the L.A. Rams. Rams. I also think this is one of the best games of the week too. You like this game? What? I do. I don't. I don't see a world that makes such wonderful things. How it could be so bad, dude? I mean, you get this nice game right before Sunday night, and then we got to drop off, though. I, do you really think the Bears are really going to stick up with the Rams, dude? Come on. Uh, the Rams are winning this one. The Bears aren't that good team. The Bears the 49ers. are 49ers. And that's fine. The 49ers are a good team. I will take that. The Bears 49ers, are not. The 49ers just lost by a shit ton of points to the fucking... Uh... A very injured, very injured 49ers team lost to the Dolphins. The Bears are not a good team. Is that, is is that why Jimmy Garoppolo by. got benched after throwing four interceptions? He got benched because his ankle's still bothering him, man. Let yeah. him go. Did you watch him they, at they all? Talked, they talked his, about that the entire oh, fucking game. Oh, my God. It his was, ankle is still horrible. Oh, it's fucked he up. He cannot push off that thing at all. Rob, he complete, uh, most, of his, most of his passes were like between five and maybe seven yards. Yeah. Dude, I think he oh, pushed no. one ball yeah. down the field. Yeah. You're talking about Garoppolo? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Garoppolo has a worse arm than fucking Cam Newton. It's unreal. Yeah, was, uh, he... he <laughs> And it's even worse when they you said, can't throw into they, it. <laughs> they said they said last week, what was it? Um, I gotta just pull up how many number, how many it was last week against the Rams. Out of his, it was nineteen completions. Out of his nineteen mm-hmm. completions, they said fifteen of them were thrown ten yards or yeah. less. Yeah, I mean, but that's the th- yeah. like that's the thing. But if you if you watch the game, it was it honestly it looks beautiful watching it because it was just he was hitting. Bop, 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 and he was hitting them. It was just that they, they, their whole game plan was Donald is not going to get to you. So the ball's out within two seconds, and every but, ball well, was out. Like his, it was in like I think he averaged two point two seconds was his, yeah. was his throughout the game, which is insane quickness. 
quick. Dude. Also, that, that's what Tom Brady used to do too back in the day. Also, boom, 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 boom. Rob still hasn't picked. You really have to? Nope. Oh, I, I'm picking the Bears. Okay, good luck. Bears, Nick Foles. 20, 27, 21. Nick Foles, meet Aaron Donald. All right. There we go. You said Nick Foles meet Aaron Donald? Yeah, that's what he yeah. said, right? right? Meet him. Hey, Khalil Mack, meet Jared Goff. Uh, the Rams line is better than the fucking Bears line. Yeah, like, you fucking kidding me? Oh, come on. Come on. The difference between that line. Oh, Jesus. my goodness. All right. When the Bears win. What, what about we'll it? have a conversation. Well, yes, we will. It will be next yes, Wednesday when no we do this. about this game. And you, what else? <laughs> Say it with me, Rob. Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. And that's what it is in this game. No worries. Rams all day. All day. This how is my lock of the week. How would I know to say that with you? Lock of the week. Yeah, no. Am I supposed to be a fucking mind reader? They're going to... I mean, Can we start having locks of the week, guys? I want to pick locks of the week. You want to pick a lock of, a week, of the week? No, let's do that. Hey, oh. let's do locks of the week. All right. If you get your lock of the week correct, you get one lock of the week. If you get it correct, you get two points. Yeah, you get two points. I like it. I like it. Ooh. I'm not picking this one as lock of the week, then. We're doing that. Okay, so... My lock of the week is the Bills versus the Jets. You can't steal it, Jeff. Seahawks Cardinals lock of the week. <laughs> Fuck you both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know what, though? I'm going to... Hey, you should definitely go lock in the week, chat. It's equals. <laughs> Fuck it. Cowboys Fuck it. Team. Lock of the week. Eagles. I'll be the fucking ballsy one out of the whole group. Hey, by the way, if you, get, if, you get, if you get your lock of the week... Yeah, it's two points. two points. Yeah, I know that. No, just... Okay, minus two. Yeah. No, you, you lose one point because you don't you don't gain one, so it's a two point swing. Okay, you got me. Because no, you, you lose get one points, race. Jeff. No, you don't lose. Nope, two I'm points, on Jeff's side. One point. Lose that's one on, point. That's on you, man. You should have just jumped on that Buffalo Jets bandwagon. No, we can't all pick the same. Yeah, game. we can't pick the same game. Do... Yeah. And you know, I'm not a coward in picking. You know, the easy win either. I'm going to pick. You know. Colin, you know why I picked that one? Because it's the easy win and you only care about no. winning and you're not fun anymore? Because, because I'm 100% fine with losing that point just hearing the sheer pain in Jeff's voice if the Jets beat the Bills. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, so, 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 Jeff, so, so he's just that. doing it because of, you know, purely because of, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This like is I wild. Like earlier, guys, can't we all just get along? <laughs> Oh Jesus! All right, I gotta actually put that on this page now as well. Rob showing us that ladies can't start fights, but they sure can fish them, right, Rob? Oh, man, this is old. All right, talk of the week. Charles, Charles is right. Charles is even confused about your lock of the week. Everybody's everybody's fucking confused about my lock of the week. I'm fucking confused oh. about my lock of the week. Colin just goes out of nowhere left field over here. Lock of the week. Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> so I went Eagles. Uh, Jeff went uh, Seahawks. And Rob went with uh, Bills. All right, well, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we just added another phase to this uh, wild bullshit. Um... Jeff just needs a way to get back in the into this, so this is the best way to do it. I feel I feel like Jeff right now is counting up, saying, <laughs> "Is that what you're doing, Jeff? Counting to see if you have enough?" Yeah, I'm gonna see if you have enough to make this up. All right, well, here we go. All right, so last last statements. This is the time for you guys to say your final quote of the night. Make it a good one. Um, no, I'm Guys, over, overall, I mean, it's 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 great, and I'm going to continue to say this. I'm just glad we got football back. Um, there obviously was a huge scare. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I really thought it wasn't going to continue. Um, now, Vegas, you got to go and it up again. Um, but I just – get through a season. It, it makes a little bit more normalcy in a, in a crazy, crazy world right now, and that's, that's what I think we need. I don't know about everyone else, but that's what we need. So, Jeff, kind of along your lines, you did see the Packers owner came out, not owner, GM, owner, someone, came out and did say they have a system in place where the Super Bowl could technically get pushed back a month. 
if they oh, really? need no, to. I did not know that. So they, they have pretty much they have mm. that, those Sundays pretty much locked in. So if they have to push it back, they can, they can go up to a month. So they can go all the way to March okay. 7th. That's awesome. So that's why I would every oh, four weeks or something, dude. Every six <laughs> weeks, give me something. Six weeks, have a break. <laughs> if you already got that aligned, six weeks, break. Everyone gets down. Quarantine. No one gets touched. Facilities. <laughs> yeah, just don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if they end up having a week eighteen or a week nineteen to make up games. Oh, that's that's what I've heard. Weeks. I've heard that, and I think that's uh, definitely for the betterment of it. Um, to have that flexibility, which is huge. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, it's it should be good. I, I think it's. I mean, just really getting sports back in general. Obviously. Uh, Big sports guy. Big sports guy. It's good to have some normalcy. Yeah, sport, sports, ball. Um, sports ball. Sports ball. Right, so. Balling with sports. So no no quotes to end after a quote-filled podcast. Kind of weird. I've got a quote um, for you. Oh, God. The NFC sucks. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and you still picked him as the lock of the week. That's the quote. Depending. Colin's lock of the week is the NFC East every week. Depending on where you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Stay out of trouble, stay safe, and we will talk to you all later. Bye.